really gotta put in the hours if you wanna get any good at these. Welcome to WatchMojo.com, and today we'll be counting down our picks for the top 10 video games with steep learning curves. It seems you finally lived up to your promise. While not necessarily the hardest games out there, these titles thrust you straight into the action, expecting you to adapt, crash, and burn. These are the titles that require a vast array of knowledge in order to become competent at. I just haven't had that much luck with them today. Number 10, StarCraft series. Alert, enemy air units on approach vector. This science fiction real-time strategy franchise helped put competitive gaming on the map, and it's understandable. Good job. With anything that requires this insane level of skill, the best are always gonna wanna challenge themselves against other high quality players. Not permanent. Not enough minerals. The degree of micromanagement that is required is baffling to casual gamers, and early on, in multiplayer, you are definitely going to struggle. There's just so much to learn. Hold on now. We just need some of this gas here. We'll be long gone before you know it. From your seven roach rushes to your ten pool bane length, you're gonna have to study hard if you want to get anywhere on the leaderboards. Number nine, Fire Emblem series. I see you're awake now. Hey there. Well known for its innovation of the tactical RPG genre, Fire Emblem distinguishes itself from other RPG titles by having a feature that's been coined permadeath, or just death as we know it in the real world. Explain. By no means the first game to do this, this still means that if one of your collection of precious characters gets the axe mid-battle, you gotta restart the game, or they're gone for good. <laughs> If you don't want them to die, they'll have to learn about weapon classes, flanking, support, equipment, enemy range, terrain, and that's all just for starters. Number eight, Arma 3. Okay, let's do this. It's a modern first person shooter, but to compare it to the likes of Battlefield and Call of Duty would be rather misleading. You copy that, soldier? If you think you're pretty sharp in either of those two games, you may be shocked at Arma's level of tactical depth and how military protocol is faithfully reproduced. Papa Bear, this is Alpha. We've got casualties. Stand by for update. A realistic combat simulator, new players must be careful not to put a foot out of line, otherwise you are guaranteed to be sorely punished. <laughs> Maybe not one to just pick up and play. You'll have to work out your own playstyle before making your way through Arma's open world. You think we can make it there, sir? I don't think we have much of a choice, Gary. Number seven, XCOM series. These science fiction strategy games have been largely well received, particularly the first, UFO Defense, which has been touted as one of the best games ever made. But they are still not without their critics. There have been many that have said that the seemingly random difficulty spikes mid-game mean that all you have learned previously becomes nearly redundant. Hostile spotted. Suddenly, your men begin to panic, and spray bullets everywhere while your opponents become insanely hard to beat. For new players who think they're just grasping the game, it can be a real shock to the system. That gray neutralized. Number six, EVE Online. You're not gonna get much time to take in the grandeur of space in this MMORPG. You'll be far too busy reading every single screen and pop-up in an attempt to learn the basics, let alone to become proficient at the game. Docking permission requested. If you're already great at politics and the intricacies of business, you'll likely pick up this one pretty quick, but the rest of us will be stuck in the early stages of the game, desperately trying to come to terms with the overwhelming scale of this intergalactic Goliath. Number five, Kerbal Space Program. It looks cute and welcoming enough as the minion-type characters scurry around as you hastily assemble your rocket for a quick trip into space, but don't be fooled. This customizable space flight simulator is not for the faint of heart. Featuring realistic, if not perfect, orbital mechanics, genuine techniques for space travel can actually be employed, as long as you can figure them out, that is. It's fun to try to get to the moon in this game, not because it is easy, but because it is hard. Because that goal will serve to organize and measure the best. Number four, Monster Hunter series. <laughs> Unlike other RPGs, in Monster Hunter, you have to rely solely on collecting new pieces of equipment to progress, rather than by leveling up your character. 
It is these items, like armor and weapons, that are crucial factors in you being able to capture the beasts in the game. And it's the same monsters you kill that can be used to improve your arsenal, something easily missed due to the complicated menus. Of course, killing the monsters is really the hardest part, and the game has so many mechanics that are so loosely explained that you may end up as Monster Chow for your first few hours. Number three, Civilization Series. Starting from incredibly humble beginnings, it may be incredibly difficult for new players of the game to visualize what their little acorn of a settlement may grow into. Small decisions that may seem insignificant at the time could quite easily set your civilization down the path of destruction. Victorious warriors win first and then go to war, while defeated warriors go to war first and then seek to win. This kind of scale could be scary for newbies, and the fact that things can go easily wrong when it appears you haven't really done much could be exceedingly disheartening. One look at the tech trees in this series is enough to make your eyes cross. Number 2, Dota 2. Often I am asked, what does a hero truly need? <laughs> this hugely popular MOBA really isn't nice to you in a number of ways. There's just so much going on that in your first few matches, you're definitely gonna die. Rest is for the dead. But what's much worse than that is that your teammates will openly vilify you when you do for not being up to standard. The earth moves under my feet. With so many characters, specific terminology and lingo, and an infinite number of carefully tweaked mechanics, even if you're months into the game, you may feel just as confused as you were on day one. Oh yes. It's sad that people can be so mean about the game, but hey, this is serious, so you gotta be up to scratch. That is for you to decide. Before our top pick smacks us in the face, here are some honorable mentions. Number one. Dark Souls series. Bloodborne might be all the rage these days, literally, but purists know where the real frustration stems from. This is your fate. Famous for being intentionally difficult, this action RPG is hugely popular with the Let's Play crowd, mainly for its ability to make you shout at the screen. A punishing game that doesn't explain many of its core concepts to you at all. You will be killed a lot as you desperately try and figure out how to make the most of your minute level progress. Despite this, the feeling you get after progressing borders on euphoria, shortly followed by the horrific realization that you probably have to do it all over again. Well, now you know. Do you agree with our list? Sir, the Taldarim are mobilizing their forces against us. Which games punished you while you were trying to learn them? There are so many tough games out there that we've surely missed a few. For more top tens that are way easier on the noobs, be sure to subscribe to WatchMojo.com. Acknowledge Swordfish out.